What's going on? This is Tyra Green Regimen. So we are about four days away from the Green Regimen 100% Healthy Plant-Based Challenge. So of course, those of you who have already committed, you've already gotten started with cleaning out your refrigerators and your freezers, already started looking at healthy plant-based options, I commend you. We're gonna get started very, very soon. So this video primarily is for those of you who are still on the fence. Because everywhere I go, I tell people, hey, Green Regimen has this challenge going on. And no matter if I'm on the East Coast, I'm on the East Coast currently, or if I'm on the West Coast, I get the same reasons slash excuses. Now, some people do have great reasons on why they can't do it. And some people just don't want to do it. And that's awesome. Just don't complain about your health or complain about your physicality if this is something you don't want to do. Um, or this is something that you just say that you can't do. But for those of you who are on the fence and who I speak to or who some of you who are doing the challenge, some of your family members or some of your friends, if they give you these type of excuses like, OK, um, oh, I can't I can't eat cheese. OK, no, I can't do the challenge or no fish. No fish. I can't do. No, no fish because see, fish is not plant based. But again. If you're on the fence about this, I, I just want you to think, because I, I have these conversations with people every day. And you're telling me that you cannot go 31 days without meat, chicken, fish, without eating cheese, without drinking milk? Really? You can't go 31 days. This challenge is free. I'm not asking for any money from any of you. I want you to do this challenge because you will see if you stick with us for this period of time, you will see positive changes. That's why I want you to do it. But really, when you tell me that you love your cheese, that you love your meat, and again, I'm not vegan and I'm not trying to push you to become vegan. I just want you to become more plant-based. So that's not my agenda here with this. But when you tell me I got to have my chicken. I got to have my beef. Think about this for a second. That chicken that you have to have, that beef that you have to have, it doesn't have to have you. It doesn't go to the grocery store and buy you. It doesn't need you. Matter of fact, every cow, every chicken, every pig, every glass of milk, every pack of cheese in the month of December, or I'm sorry, in the month of January, they're going to go without having you because they don't need you. So just keep that in mind. I mean, this is it's kind of funny, but it's, it's, as, it's also really serious because when food has that much of a grip on you, you really have to stop for a second and think about it. It's only 31 days. And this is something that's healthy for you. This is not something that's going to mar your results in the gym or, or decrease your level of health. No. This is all about optimal health. This is all about increasing your, your level of health. That's what this is about. It's not about anything else. So just consider that. If you're on the fence, I mean, we have videos. We have healthy options for you. Every day in January, I'm going to be posting what I'm eating. You don't have to eat exactly what I'm eating. You don't have to drink exactly what I'm drinking. But I'm just giving you that as a guideline. We have our website open now. So we have, um, you go to greenregimen.com. There's a, a menu item and it says challenge 2020 and you can click on that link and you'll find all of the resources that you need to get you through this challenge. So again, those of you who are with me, stay with me. We're going to complete this challenge. I'm doing it with you again. I'm not 100 percent plant based in, in my my regular life, let's say. But starting January 1st, I will be. So I'm doing it with you. So if I could do this, you most definitely can do this. And I'm probably like one of the biggest meat eaters, or I used to be one of the biggest meat eaters. Let me get that clear. I used to be one of the biggest meat eaters. And if I can say, you know what, for 31 days, I can step away from it. Surely you can really just think about that. How silly do you sound saying you can't go without that? Because again, it can go without you. All right. See you next time.